Sports. So this is going to be a quick video to discuss cleaning your laser scanner. So we're often asked the question, how often or what should I use to clean the scanner itself? The, the question of how often really depends on the environment that you're operating in. If you're on a construction site with dust, drywall, and concrete dust flying through the air every single day, you may want to perform this sort of maintenance every other day, every week. If, uh, if your scanner is just out sort of in a normal outdoor operating condition, maybe uh, on a survey uh, type application, things like that, it may not be at big, uh, as big of a deal to do this, you know, let's say every week. Um, but really just take a look at the mirror and the lens surface, and we're going to look at those in a second, uh, to get a feel for if those are sort of collecting any sort of particulate that you think might be affecting the noise and the accuracy of your scanner. So what we're just going to quickly talk about is uh, one method for cleaning the scanner. Uh, get your scanner, of course, first uh, on a tripod or somewhere else where it's safe and stable. You can lock it in place. Um, what we're going to want to do is use uh, just your classic uh, dust can, so basically something, the uh, air can, something you would use to clean off a laptop, just something with um, no oil or anything like that. And we've also got a straw. Um, so this is going to help us basically deflect the actual dust itself. Um, we can pull off the dust cover from our scanner. And uh, when the scanner is off, you want to make sure that it's off. You can go ahead, try not to touch with your fingers the surface of either the mirror or the lens. Uh, and it looks like we can maybe rotate this a little bit. So the mirror surface is the one that spins. The lens surface is the one that is actually attached to the scanner. So the advice that I would give is first just give your canned air just a quick blast to make sure there's no particulate or anything in there. Go ahead and connect the straw to that. And again, just give it a quick blast to make sure that there's no dust or anything in the straw. Um, you'll then want to come in and just rotate the mirror in a way so that your canned air is deflecting the particulate and dust off of the face. Um, so you want to look for the stuff that you can see and just sort of gently blast whatever dust and particulate you can see off the face itself. Um, once you're feeling good about the mirror, uh, you can then move on to the lens. One thing you do want to avoid is coming straight down at the surface. So just make sure that you're not aiming the blasted air directly at the surface. Make sure there's you're sort of coming in at an angle. Same thing when you do the lens surface. So you can basically blow everything off to the side there. The only other place I would also recommend blowing off is this area down here, um, just to kind of try to keep that clean as well. Um, so that would be your sort of standard operating maintenance as far as cleaning that thing off. Just keeping it clean, it'll make sure that the data that you get is as clean as possible. If you happen to be operating again your scanner in an area where it's constantly picking up dirt, dust, things like that, um, we do ship the scanners now with two things that are of importance. One would be uh, lens cleaning tissue. So this is lint-free tissue, which is real important. We don't want to make sure, or we want to make sure that there's no lint anywhere on either of those surfaces, and also a uh, optical cleaning solution. Um, so what I would recommend if you have a heavily, heavily soiled mirror and lens surface, if this, uh, this first canned air method is not getting you where you need to go, then you could basically take some latex gloves. Just make sure that you're not getting your hands on either of these surfaces. So if you get some gloves, take a few drops of the optical cleaning solution, drop it on this, and then just gently wipe any additional particulate or dust or anything that's built up off of both the mirror and the lens surfaces. Um, so again, nothing too abrasive. Be real careful with the things that you do use, but those would be the two methods for uh, cleaning and maintaining your scanner.